Hello everyone, finally AWS has released two roles that is for Cloud Support Associate. So we will talk about both the roles, but along with that, we are going to talk about what will be your basic qualifications for this opening, what will be your eligibility, how you can clear this round. I will tell you everything based on my experience. Then what is the CTC expected for this role? What is the number of interview round that you can expect for the complete entire interview process? And there are some tips and tricks that I followed and I will share with you based on my experience. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Okay, so Amazon has released two job openings. First ID you can see here. I will post both the links in my description box. You can check it out and apply directly. Even if you assist me or send me mail, I will help you for the referrals as well. But it is very huge number. So you can't expect everyone that uh, you will get uh, you will get referred by me. But yeah, I will try my best. Most of the people whose resume I find best, I will definitely help you to refer it. Yeah, along with this. We talk about the first, what is the basic qualification? So in this page, that is the Amazon job portal official page, you have to come below. Here you can see zero to one year of experience candidate are eligible for that. There is no basic qualification like BTEC, BC, MCA. There is nothing, not any type of specific degrees required. But if you have a zero to one year of experience in Linux system or support or DevOps or some sort of things, you are eligible along with that you must have some troubleshooting or support experience along with that you must have a very good oral and written communication skills also there are some preferred qualifications as well like you must have a very good understanding of os computer network and basic of networking at least and you must have very good understanding of linux commands because linux is very important when you go into some uh, support role or troubleshooting role so definitely linux will be very important concept for this role along with that you have some experience in the cloud computing uh, and this is for the aws role so if you have some experience in aws cloud then definitely it will make a big impact on your interview process along with that self starter who is excited about technology so definitely every day you have to face new challenges you will learn something new so this is the basic qualifications Second point is that what is the eligibility? So we have discussed about who are eligible. So if you have zero to one year of experience, they don't specify any specific degree. So every candidate are free to apply for this job opportunity. Next, next, how you can clear that. So for this dedicated role, I have made multiple videos and detailed discussion on each and every rounds. So if you want to clear this round it's my recommendation personal recommendation you can go to my channel or you can find the complete playlist link in the description box of this video and you will get the entire link so my request first go through all the video that are free of cost over the youtube you can go through all the video and definitely most of your doubts will be cleared along with that what you can expect this salary yeah before that we talk about the ctc i'm talking about like at the end of this video i'm going to talk about some brief idea about the all the rounds and i will tell you some sort of questions you can expect and how you can answer that yeah but fourth point is that that we are going to discuss in this video what uh, like how much ctc you can expect for the cloud support associate role ctc will be very good it can reach at least 20 to 24 lp at least 20 should be there but this 20, it does not mean you directly divide it by 12 and you can understand this will be my enhanced salary. No, there will be a different component that I can't tell you in this video, but definitely there will be some sort of basic, some sort of uh, RSUs will be there. But once it's combined, your CTC will be approx 20. It might be two, like 18 or 22, but yeah, it is approx on an average will be 20. So, but I'm not going to disclose how the salary structured and uh, other components but yeah your complete ctc around 2022 or 18 20 some sort of things i'm not pointing out any specific number but yeah you can expect from 18 to 22 if you talk about the entire ctc so i hope multiple people have doubt what is the ctc or the salary for this so i'm not going to talk about in hand or like how much you will get in hand but the ctc component it's some sort of it in this range that i have mentioned okay so i hope multiple people clear with this 
Next, number of interview rounds. So generally, if you talk about the entire complete interview process for the cloud support associate role, so it drives into the four parts. First, there will be online assessment. So I have made a dedicated video on this uh, online assessment round. If you have not checked it out, I have put the link in the i button or the description box. You can check it out. Once you clear the online assessment, you will move forward to the first technical round one. Technical round one mainly focuses on your operating system concepts. So how good with your operating system concepts along with how confident you are with the Linux troubleshooting commands. Okay. Once you clear the first round of interview, you will move forward to the second round. Second round will be mainly focuses on your computer network concept. So you are very good at OSI understanding how TCP work, how HTTP, HTTPS work, what is the three way handshake how DORA process work, what is the DNS resolution, all these concepts definitely you have to be crystal clear on these topics. These are very important. Even I have made a dedicated video and provided some sample questions like uh, I have provided more than 30 to 35 questions for each round. So you can check it out. Link in the description or in the i button so you can check it out. And last round definitely would be managerial round in which you are expected to ask some scenario based questions. Example, uh, you are in a team, you are a team leader and some of the your team members are not working and because of they are not working, your product delivery date might be affected. So how you can handle such scenarios? So some sort of questions will be there. Now coming to the job role. So AWS has released two job roles. First, you can see 2790325 and second would be 2792240. Okay, so these two roles are currently open. You should apply at their best level. You can uh, update your resume. Yeah, come to the last point that is the tips for the interview. Before getting into the interview process, what is the process you have? Your resume should be selected, right? So to what you can do so that your resume should be selected. I'll tell you some tips and trick. You can take it. First, your resume should be single page. M many I, I have seen multiple candidate coming from directly from the college, their resume should be two, three page and unnecessary information. For the professional world on IT world, your resume should be one page until unless you have more than three years of experience when you have multiple projects to showcase your skills and tell something the world like I have done certain sort of projects and I have this knowledge. But from college, like you are coming from the college, we all know most of the people don't have that solid understanding of the projects and they have done some basic projects. So don't put unnecessary information like you have done qualification, you have taken the almost one page just telling about your qualifications, you have done be uh, matriculation or intermediate and bachelor. No, only bachelor is required. Make the resume single page. What is your technical skills, main technical skills and uh, your uh, projects, please highlight it with the bold. Suppose you have done some projects in Python. So Python would be your main like uh, tech skills. So in the tech skills or the technical skills section, your Python should be highlighted. Now, next tips. When you are applying for this cloud support associate role, your resume should be prepared according to the cloud support associate. What it means? It means when you are going to apply for a job, you should read the job description and need of this job properly so that you can prepare your resume based on the requirement of the job. So suppose for this cloud support associate job dedicatedly I'm talking about here, they are talking about Linux. They are talking about OS. They are talking about uh, networking. They are talking about good communication skills, troubleshooting, support, networking, DevOps, Java. So these are the keywords that you have to mention in your resume so that once your resume got shortlisted or someone will started looking into your resume, they will got like, yeah, these candidate are perfectly fine for the requirement. So I hope these two points you are clear. Third, if suppose your resume got shortlisted, now you are getting into the interview process. First thing, you don't need to tell anything unnecessary like what we do in the college. If you don't know the answer, we start speaking anything. If you have some point around the topic, then only you should speak. Otherwise, it's okay to say I don't know the answer at the moment, but I will definitely cover it. What happens if you do does this? It will definitely save your time and the interviewer time as well. 
सो वेन एवर यू गो इन टू एनी ऑफ द इंटरव्यू इफ यू डोंट नो आर सिंगल वर्ड रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक दे आर आस्किंग इट्स वेरी गुड टू आस्क डायरेक्टली आई एम नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट और आई डिड नॉट अवेयर विद दिस टॉपिक एट दिस मोमेंट सो इट्स बेटर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो इट विल शो सम प्रोफेशनलिज्म from your side so that uh, they will also ask some additional questions and they will judge you based on the other question not at that question okay second thing is that you should be very confident while giving the interviews because this is a very big mnc and this role basically help basically for the candidate who will handle the customer sentiments at a very first level so you should be very confident while answering the question so that it your confidence should be replicated in all the conversation you have with the interviewer so it will definitely make a very positive impact on the interviewer minds so you can remember all these three points okay other points i have already discussed link will be in the description box because i don't want to make long videos because you will directly come and apply but yeah these points that i have mentioned over here definitely help you to clear your interview 100 percent because multiple people have messaged me ping me or emailed me that my videos help them to clear their rounds okay so let's just wrap up this thing both the links you will find in the description box the complete entire playlist link also will be in the description or the i button and some tips that i have said related to the resume and definitely follow that that will definitely help you to your resume got shortlisted for the round so i hope this video help you to understand the entire process and the tips and trick what is the expected salary basic qualification eligibility and everything and you will have the link to apply so i hope this video definitely help you to understand everything and clear your doubts if it is please like the video subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thank you thanks for watching